Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah here from the Automator. And I was telling Isaiah, I had this, you know, we, we all understand ChatGPT is amazing, right? And it's really, really powerful. And also, I really firmly believe that the world has changed. Search is no, we don't want to get search results to list of 20 answers and whatever, right? It's yeah. if we want one answer, we want it summarized, blah, blah, blah. That we all get that. What I really put together the other day was why the ChatGPT also an additional thing of why it's so powerful. And, and there's some really basic logic. I and mean, we understood it when we first used it, but it wasn't the really gotcha that, that to me that jumped out. So yeah. we all understand the context. You ask it a question, it gives you an answer, and then you can follow up on your question, right? Which yeah. part of it's just convenient. I don't have to repeat myself. But really, if any of us, and I'm sure everyone watching this video has probably played it, the game of 20 questions, right? Oh, you yeah, have some idea, right. yeah. and then... Someone asks you a question, and the real power is your questions change based on what you learn, right? And that is why the context is so powerful, because we usually in Google, we search for something. It doesn't give us what we want. We do another search, but it's totally fresh. It's totally it's different yeah. from yeah. the previous one, and it, it doesn't learn from whatever you had at the right. beginning. That's right. Right. But also the questions we ask change. Right. And we drill down in. And that is what I think ChatGPT is really allowing us to do. We start wow. kind of broad with not sure, but then we refine our questions to it, getting down to a point. And it's just simpler. Right. I actually like that that with the with the 20 questions, because it uh, if I remember correctly, the idea was that the game, it doesn't matter what you think about it. Right. It, it could be anything. Right. And before reaching 20 questions, it will have the answer. And 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 that to me was really surprising. But after I understood the, the concept, it's like it is it is kind of like a binary. So it just removes half of what right. you're looking for, right? right? So well, if we can do that. And how search, you ask questions. And that's right, the whole chat prompt engineering. It's important right. to learn how to ask questions. And when you do this with chat GPT, you are basically doing the same thing. You do a general question. Right. Now you do another question that yeah. is going to remove half the answers. It's going right. to be narrowed right. down. After you do that a couple of times, you are going to find the actual answer that you're looking for. So that that's a great analogy there. It's also, um, it's really a statistical thing with the Bayesian techniques where what you do is you use the new information to change. It's it's like the Monty Hall thing, the, the what's behind the two to three doors and should yep. you change your answer after the first question? If you, you know, it's because you learn more information and usually you should change your answer, uh, your question, which one you choose if they've limited the resources, because now the, the numbers change, right? But it's yeah. it's basically taking new information and adjusting your questions based on that new information. And that awesome. really is, to me, of why that context really, it does help because I don't have to repeat myself, but it also helps because I'm re, I'm taking what I learned from that last thing and adjusting to it. Now, I, I do have a question for you. What if, for example, Google, the search engine, had the capability of following yeah. up with right. uh, with a uh, you know so having right. context within your searches do you think we would have the need for chat gpt at that point like would would we well again I, I i'm a firm believer there's you know multiple things going on here and our world we we human we want one answer i don't want 50 answers i want one answer <laughs> and i don't even want to go to a website like that's done. I, I want to see my answer right here. I don't want to go somewhere. I don't want to look at all the options, you know, right. for, for a lot of things, right? There are times right. you're stopping and you want to see a list of a bunch of things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I think for the most part, that that ship has sailed. And I don't know. I mean, I got to assume Microsoft and Google understand this. Yes, um, and that's more why that's Google's- the, that's, the reason, that's the reason why they're going that direction. Yeah. Again, what, again, I was actually thinking about it for our channel, Isaiah. Right. If we were like a lot of other channels out there that teach you exactly how to do this, mm -hmm. man, we'd be in a world of hurt, right? Because because ChatGPT is going to be able to do that. It's going to be able to give you the code. We don't teach right. you this exact code. We teach you concepts and higher level stuff, right? That's what our channel is really about. Where we we're not just showing you how to click a thing, right? It's it's you know a lot more. Um, Complex. How to click correctly. Yeah, complicated <laughs> or advanced stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's why I'm not worried because I'm like, you know, we still offer. It doesn't a matter. Of, yeah, exactly. Not a quick thing. Now, someday that'll also go away, right? But yeah, it, it, I do think that the, the search, the world, how it's, think about all those companies that spend a fortune 
to get SEO, you know, and spend money to get people to drive them into Google that then Google makes a crap load of money on right off of the clicks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I I truly believe that's going to be a thing of the past. I mean, it's going to take time, but it's going to start fading away. There you go. That's right. So comment below if you guys think this was helpful, if you found it interesting. Um, if you're using, I'm, I, we love ChatGPT and that general approach. We're actually building a really cool tool to help you guys. It's um, it's going to be pretty fun. We'll, hopefully in another week or two, I think we'll have it ready to for testing. So, uh, but let us know and uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber and please like the video. If you learned something here, it'd be awesome.